everyone this is XQ crafting again welcome to my channel if you've been here before welcome back so today I'm gonna be um, sharing with you another art journal page and I'm gonna be using my little notebook it's just a simple notebook that I got at Ross for 99 cents I believe and just to show that you can do art journal in anything so the first thing I did was to glue a few pages together and I'm using Mod Podge for that and that's what I had like closer uh, but you can use any glue really so I just glue a few pages together to make it thicker because I'm gonna try to use water with my um, acrylic paints so making it a little bit thicker uh, the pages thicker would take the mediums a little bit better and after I put the pages together, I'm just using like a tissue paper that I got at Michael's a really long time ago. I thought the lines in the notebook we go was gonna come through the tissue paper and that's why I use acrylic um, gesso over it and it looks very white right now but it's not I thought I didn't want the lines to come through and that's why I covered but you don't have to you, you don't have to cover it. once you put the tissue paper down even if you have the lines be uh, behind it it will not look bad but if you want to cover it completely yeah you can fade it with um, acrylic gesso. One thing I did not want the very bold letters like the big letters so I just cut it around it and then I'm gonna glue the tissue paper like pieces on the page and for that I'm using Liquitex matte medium. You can use anything you have any kind of glue it doesn't need to be that uh, it's just because I was gonna use the matte medium for other things so I just kept that on my desk So then after I glue it down, I just cut it the excess on the edges of the page. I'm gonna use gesso again, just because the page, it doesn't look like a background. The letters are so bright and bold. So I'm just using the gesso to push it to the background. And then I dry it with my heating tool. You can let it dry on its own if you want, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to leave the room and then come back later. You can still see the, the letters on, on the back, it's just faded. And to color it, I'm just gonna use a blue, pool blue. And the paint, like the acrylic paints that I use, is actually very, the very cheap acrylic paint from Michaels. I got a, like a whole set in the clearance aisle a really long time ago, and it's still what I use to this day. So I diluted the paint with water, and then I use a brush, but then I'm gonna change my mind gonna put the paint directly to the page and then gonna use a baby wipe to spread it around then I'm using gray just because this is gonna be a winter scene I didn't want it to be so blue so I added some gray to it I'm diluting with water but again I'm just gonna change my mind and add directly to the page and use a baby wipe to spread it around And you can add as many layers as you want. Just be careful not to rip the paper below. And since I added gesso to the page, 
also the water is not gonna immediately seep through so it's not gonna really damage your page as much as if you had just the paper from the notebook wanted to add a few sparkles like to look like snow falling and I used that stencil um, but I didn't like it how it turned out once I put it on the page so I cleaned it up. I'm mixing a, a gel from Artist Loft with a white acrylic paint just to use as the snow. I lost the footage of me putting the snow on the page with that stencil, um, but yeah, that's the stencil that I use. The holes are very small. After I was done with the, f the snow falling, I decided to um, make a little, like little snow banks to layer on the bottom of the page. So I just got a piece of cardstock and then I trace it on the page to see more or less where it's gonna go and then I just rounded the edges cut it in the middle where the pages meet because if you don't do that to close the page it adds a lot of bulk decided to add another one in the middle a little bit higher and I will also cut that one in the middle a little deer to the page so I cut it that with my die cut machine and the deer is from Tim Holtz I cut it too just in case I messed it up then I'm just drawing like a basic branch with the scrap of paper that's not print paper that's a cardstock paper and I just drew the branch myself but you can look on the internet as a reference or just print it out free copyright image I just mixed the brown with white and some water and I colored the branches with that nothing fancy very simple coloring I don't know how to paint <laughs> so I'm just coloring whatever and then I'll add shades later comes the time to paint the deer in that brown I was already using with white I just added a drop of yellow dark yellow and mix it up with a little bit of water and that's how I'm coloring the deer I don't know why I didn't change to a bigger brush I think I was enjoying the process so much that <laughs> I end up forgetting to change for a bigger brush and again it's a little bit dark now because it's wet once it dries it's gonna be a lot lighter 
then for the antlers, I'm just adding more white to the brown and then make it a, light, a lighter color. That's how it looks. It's almost dry. It looks very light right now, but we're going to add the shade and depth in a little bit. So I just fuzzy cut the branches and now I'm just going to go over um, where I want to add on the page. I should have added um, the white, blue and gray splashes on the background right now before I glue everything down, but I completely forgot. So you're going to see later that when I remember to do it, everything is already almost glued to the page. So I'm going to have to cover it. And then I'm gluing the branches down with the matte medium from a liquid text. Just keep in mind that because of the texture from the snow, from the the gel that I added on the page, is a, it makes it a little bit harder to glue anything you want to glue on the page down because of the textures. Just keep that in mind. And then I start gluing the snow bank down. And notice that I do go over everything that I'm putting on the page. I go over with the matte medium because I do plan to use um, big brush markers at the end to add shade. And the page has to be non-porous. And that's why I cover everything with my matte gel. snowbank at the very front I'm gonna use foam uh, foam tape just to give some dimension I want it to be a little bit higher than the ones on the background so I just added foam tape and you're not gonna see me doing the other side but I did the exact same thing then I placed the little deer behind it and I'll glue it down with my matte medium gel again <laughs> You see that I'm gonna add um, my splashes. I just diluted blue with water. It's the same blue I use for the background and I'm gonna splash it all over. Then I did the same thing with the gray, diluted with water and a little bit of white as well. Now I'm using my big brush marker. It's a permanent ink marker just to give, like add shade to the page and a little bit more depth. Because I use matte gel on top of everything, once you put it down and you smudge with your fingers, it will move around. It's going to be wet for a few seconds and that's how you're able to do that. Once it dries, it's going to be permanent. It's not going to move. <laughs> No banks. Then I use some thickers to put the word winter on the page. And 
then I use some other like flat stickers to put the word deer. <laughs> I use a gel pen, a black gel pen, just to draw a few lines around the page. Mostly on the darker parts, but you can really keep it out if you don't want to use the gel pen. Or you can just do whatever you want. It's your page, your rules. And then I use the white gel pen just to add highlights in the lighter parts of my little deer and then I didn't do on the branch because I wa wanted to use the texture gel to be like snow it looks white right now but it will almost dry translucent so that's why if you don't put a, like white acrylic paint to it it will not really show much and then I add it to the snow banks as well just to add some texture, not really to show because it's white on white even though I didn't, uh, I didn't add acrylic paint white acrylic paint to it so it's gonna be kind of translucent you're gonna see in the close-up photos so this is the page for today, I hope you liked it if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up share with your friends if you like please consider subscribing take care Bye!